Hello everyone, it's I, Pioneer, with another figure review. This time we got Fate Grand Order's Dual Figure Collection Set, uh, Volume 10. This right here is the Babylonian version of this set right here, featuring characters that you can get out of the five characters you can get, being Reshigo, Ishtar, Castor Gil, Enkidu, and last but not least, Quetzalcoatl. But as this is already technically, I already know the figure I got, because I did technically order this, hence also why the box is technically open. I did get myself Quetz, so... With that out of the way, let's go with the unboxing and review of Quetzalcoatl. And we're back now, let's go with the unboxing of the figure. First things first, and as you already know, the box is already open since I did technically get this pre-owned. And the first one we get out of here, it's Quetz right here. First things first, we get Quetz right here. Right here in a little plastic baggie. Looking pretty nice. I mean, even without putting it out of the plastic bag, it should look... The sculpting and coloring is already looking good and she looks pretty nice. What else do we got here? We also got right here her base. So right here her base also has her uh, card type or her class type, which is Rider. Uh, her sword right here, her obsidian sword. And the little stand that goes with her. And then we have, last but not least, are the cards. These right here are basically the multiple card types that will show uh, what her, uh, what's it called, her card when she's summoned. All the uh, card types, which are, you know, for those who play FGO or whatnot, or those who don't know, we have, like, three card types, which are Quick, Arts, and Buster. That's the basic way you use to attack and whatnot, and then her skills. But, was that out of the way? Now let's go. Now let's go with the um, review of all these. Okay, first things first. Out of the first ones to review, we have Quetz herself. We have the plastic bag, which is just pretty easy. And overall, looking pretty nice. You can see right there, the sculpting is looking great. Coloring looking good. All the design work is pretty nice. You can see right there all the detail work they put into this figure. It's pretty nice. Like compared to a lot of the other minifigures that I've bought overall, uh, these um, what's called new collection sets are pretty nice and detailed compared to other ones. You can see the sculpting, the painting right now, the detail work on the necklace right there, on the on the shirt and whatnot. Shield right there looks pretty nice. On the headdress right there. All the detail work that they put on here is actually pretty nice. I am actually pretty suppressed. I mean, I do have Lancer Reichel, so I shouldn't be that too much impressed. Like, this right here is pretty nice. Uh, now let's go with the other stuff, too, which is her base right here. I really should grab some scissors. But you know what? These are easy to open right here. Let's go with the stand right here. This is the basic stand that most of these um, dual collection figures usually come with. They come with their uh, class type for each, uh, depending on which figure you got. And Quetz is a uh, five-star SSR uh, rider, single target rider for those who know. Basically, it's a one hit enemy. Then we have her oof, obsidian sword, which is basically a wooden sword with obsidian uh, jagged edges for those who uh, want to a little bit know for sword weaponry. And, and sculpting for this is actually pretty nice. Might actually be a little bit more better sculpting than some of the other figures I've recently been reviewing and whatnot. Looks pretty nice. The color and whatnot, the detail work. How you legit the fact that these figures can actually come with this much detail work is actually pretty nice. Kind of wish a lot of other figures that I've gotten over over the years would do the same thing. And then last but not least, we have this is the little stand stick right here that goes towards her. I'm pretty sure you just stick the stand right here. Make these all right have holes. Then you attach quits onto her sword, which should go. So I'm pretty sure our peg goes right here. Oop, got to make sure, got to make sure this is like right here, right here. Should have done this beforehand, but you know what? It's fine. That bit work doesn't do me too much. Then she goes right there. Overall, because this technically is meant to be put on the base right there, and voila. Mostly, this is being a little bit. Aha! Uh -huh. Yeah, god damn it. How's this? How's this supposed to go again? Is the sword supposed to go? Wait, is am I able to lift her hand? No. So this is right here. Is supposed to go. How's this supposed to go? Oh, this is already. You now take a look at these. We'll be right back. Okay, technical cookies are done, and we got it back. I just had to adjust the little stand right there a little bit. I can see right here, stand right there goes. I just fixed that a little bit. Uh, what's it called? The sword is a little bit loose and whatnot, but that's fine. And now let's go with the cards. 
Okay, now let's go with the cards right here. Now let's open the cards up right here. It should be pretty fine. Slide them out, and boom. So, basically, initial, this right here is basically her card stand that on her... Pretty sure it's either... This is her third ascension right here, card type, I'm pretty sure. Then we have the card types, which she only has one quick right here. Quick, arts, uh, two arts, and two busters right there. These right here are basically attack the crits for the quick, the green one, for those who do not know. They grant crits, uh, crits, uh, crit stars, which are basically, as odd, depending on how many you have, you can do cr critical on enemies. Arts are able to do NP gains, or uh, able to get your MP gauge, or get you close to your ultimate attack to use it. And then Buster, red is basically just hitting real hard. And then we have her skills. The last three cards are basically all of her skills. Each servant all have three skills of their own. Uh, first skill, second skill, third skill. For those who don't know, her first skill is an attack buff. Uh, attack strength. Second skill is guts, basically to survive and attack. So in case her HP goes down, she's able to survive with a little bit left. And the last one is basically, uh, like what I said, was the quick card, uh, crit gain. So she's able to generate stars, whatnot, when she uses it. So when she attacks, whatnot, she'll gain some stars back from attacking some enemies. But that right there is the card types right here. Overall, that's overall. Everything looks pretty nice. I'm actually really liking my quits. I was away. Let's go with the uh, end view of this. And we're back. And overall, a pretty nice little figure right here. Uh, what's it called? For the price of these, are a little bit expensive depending on where to try to get these. They're technically mainly Japan exclusive, so you have to go to Japan and get these for kind of cheap. Uh, or your online, or depending on which figure you get, are either going to be somewhat cheap or somewhat expensive. Quits was a little bit expensive for me. But I did wonder because it was cold. Uh, my Hispanic culture one, and also Quetz being one of my favorites. Uh, but overall, uh, care design is great. The sculpting is good. The coloring is also pretty nice. Really loving these. The cards that I come with are also great too for those who want to have uh, cards as well. Overall, a little great figure. Uh, and that fell off. But you know, that's fine. The, my little display thing kind of moves. I'm eventually going to try to figure out how to keep the sword on there so for the meantime we'll just put the sword on the side without touching or whatnot but with that out of the way this is the figure review for Chris Cardo from Fate Grand Order Steel Collection uh, Volume 10 thanks for watching everybody uh, please like leave a like comment subscribe I always appreciate it but as always have a great day folks this is I Part Arden and I'll see you guys on the next one